तुदावत मेरा मन तन हरे Every religion teaches the importance of equality of humanity. How is this ethic put into practice? The first Sikh Guru, Guru Nanak, established the principle of Guru Kalangar, the practice of offering food to any visitor regardless of their background. This was a revolutionary practice in the caste, gender and ethnicity ordered society of India in the 1500s. The Guru Kalangar uses highly sustainable practices with almost no waste and uses the community itself to create the meal. The practices serve as a role model for today's challenges of good nutrition and sustainable living. The volunteer efforts to provide free meals are inspired by three principles. Kirit karo, earn through honest hard work. Vand chako, share resources and serve the community. Nam japna. Keep your mind centered on Ik Onkar, the source of all creation. Visitors coming to share the langar are part of the universal family. The third guru, Amar Das, formalized the institution of langar, which unites Sikhs through Pangat, which means all people sit together in rows, without discrimination or consideration of rank or position. And Sangat, inspiring people to live truthfully, and to keep the company of like-minded people who believe in the universality of all beings. These principles serve to break down barriers and establish equality among all. The Golden Temple's Guru Kalangar is the home base of this 400 plus year old practice. To organize the feeding of 60,000 people, a fresh cooked, delicious, nutritious, hot meal takes efficiency under what may appear to be chaotic conditions. It takes smart planning and an open heart. Each of the two longer halls holds up to 3,000 people. In the busiest time, 6,000 people can share a meal in just half an hour. Longer service begins at 8 a.m. and continues throughout the day and into the night until about 1 o'clock in the morning. Chai and biscuits are served before 8 a.m. The chai, the milky sweet tea, continues to be available at any time. As people walk through the longer hall, volunteers hand them a steel plate, a spoon, and a bowl. On a very busy day, people wait outside the hall. Once the doors open, volunteers guide the crowd down neat rows of runners placed on the floor. Each person sits with legs crossed side by side. Everyone is equalized. Volunteers assist anyone in need of a place to sit down. Before the meal is served, a devotee calls out to the packed room. And those in the Pangat respond back. Satsriyakal. Whosoever believes in the timelessness of truth is in bliss. Helpers bring baskets of prashade, flatbread, covered in a cloth to stay warm. Buckets of lentils, rice, kheer, vegetables, salads, and sweets are carried up and down each row and offered to each visitor. The serving is efficient and continuous. With a long ladle, the lunger is spooned out and poured onto each plate. You're welcome to have seconds or to skip any dish that you choose. The menu choices vary depending on the season. The combination of spices and slow cooking brings out amazing flavors and leaves you satisfied and comforted. Those who give rasad, who offer to provide the lunger ingredients for the day, may bring special ingredients from the farmer's market and add their own touch to the lunger. When finished eating, carry your empty plate to the dishwashing area. The floors of the lunger hall are swiftly cleaned and ready to accept a new group. Many stay on to serve the next group. Guru Kalangar, prepared and shared here every day for over 400 years, offers a remarkable opportunity for anyone interested in learning about building a sustainable community. All are welcome at Harmandar Sabh.